Okay, so we've got the head torque down. Now, where I showed you before, remove the cap, and then this will reveal the crank lock position. Yeah, it's closed, yeah, it's open, so we're going to put in a 10 mil bolt in there. There is a tool that you get, but this one works just as well. So once that in, that's in place, check it, lock it down. You'll see that our tool is a little bit tapered on the end. Okay, so now the crank is locked down, so the timing marks that we spoke about are now in place again automatically now we're going to move to the camshaft push in your camshaft then you'll see there's a lock slot right there so lock slots in position we're going to use an 8 millimeter shaft tool stick it in there and now the camshaft has been locked down Okay, make sure it's locked into position, then we're going to put the gear on. You'll see, we just highlighted them with black. There are two marks, and those two marks will have to correspond with these uh, um, flat surfaces of the head itself. On the inside, that's what it looks like. A little bit difficult to get it in, so be patient. So your timing chain has been hooked in at the bottom, obviously around the crank in its special position okay so when it slots into position we're shifting the position of the marks now because obviously you can see there comes one it has to be perpendicular to the head a little bit offset because when you put your cam tensioner in there or your cam chain tensioner it's going to move a little forward Slide in your cam spacer and then we're going to put in the cam uh, chain tensioner. Obviously it's reloaded and, re uh, and checked so that it's ready to be able to spring into position. Basically you have to take the preload off. Alright, so with that done, we're going to put in the cam bolts, and that's where you fine tune it. A little bit left, a little bit right, and then you can also see the, there are our marks. One of them is a little bit higher, so when we do put the tensioner on, the chain will snap into position, and it's going to pull it straight. So putting in the cam lock cap again, um, closing up the cam chain tensioner. From this side you can see the tensioner is sitting on the chain and it's been preload checked. Taking out the cam tool lock and dropping in 
the lock at the back. And now if you want to check the timing, that's how you do it. And everything seems perfect for now. I drop it out.